What's special about farming in the county is everybody's close. Everybody helps out. I sleep great at night. You know, you come home from a long day and it's, it's a good tired. If there's one thing I've learned and it's one thing my parents instilled into me was, you might as well be happy doing this thing called life. We own and operate a small family farm. The first word was family. And as long as you put your family first, the farm will take care of us. Without the family, we don't have a farm, as I envision it. My sisters and I were born and raised on this farm and were taught from a young age to work together and to rely on each other. These are my two favorite things in the world, family and farming. For Somali Bantu, farming is community. We created a community farming business because people who are here are from the same community and they experience a similar method of farming. Now we come together, try to create a program that will help our farmers to farm using the same methods they knew from back home. We grow together. We share work, we share money, we share everything. Farming for the Somali Bantu community works well here in Maine because there's a lot of farmland that is accessible, easy to access, and the people are supportive and friendly. Farming is really hard work, but it's hard work our community, our people love to do because we are uh, growing our own food, uh, our own fruits and vegetables from our own sweat. Our people are really happy to be farming again in Maine. Here at Leisure Growers, we're, we're proud to go to work every day and it's not often anymore in the world you can go somewhere to work, look across the field and see your uncle at one end, your dad at the other, your, your brother by your side or your cousin by your side. We're very proud to be sharing this experience and, and this career all together. Being the, the fifth generation now that puts us work in the same ground here in Maine for probably around 100, 120 years. I love farming, I love the way of life, specifically here in Maine, I wouldn't change it for anything. I like getting up and having something good to give to the world every day and uh, try my hardest to do it and um, doing it alongside my family. Not only are we just cultivating soil and cultivating a crop, but we're creating a livelihood not only for, for ourselves, but for our kids, my nieces and nephews, and I hope that someday they'll be able to do the same. What makes Maine farming special is the ability to be so diverse. I mean, the land is diverse, so you, it kind of creates your way of doing business. So you have to be creative because you've got weather, Mother Nature working against you or with you. And so the fact that you never know on a day-to-day -day basis, week-to-week -week basis, what you're going to be doing. You might have an idea of like what you'd like to be doing, but it changes every day. Farming, it's preserving what we do. One of the things that I think is different about Maine and farming in Maine, there isn't another state that supports its dairy farmers as well as the state of Maine. We've kept the land from, from being developed and sold into houses because it's growing grass for my cows. So it is as much being true to the land, being true to the family, being true to ourselves, and, and trying to uh, raise a family and, and make it all work. The food aspect of the farm is what brings people together. When I look at my bakery and I'm making bread and I'm making all those 
good things, as well as in my creamery. It's about bringing food together on somebody's table with the hope that they sit down. And it is gonna create a memory because our food is unique. What Maine farming means to me is an opportunity to be creative in my space and to create on land rather than in a cubicle an opportunity for people to learn. All week is very busy leading up to our markets for the weekend. There's a lot of preparation. Um, of course, there's the harvesting, the washing, and just getting things ready for this big event. It's almost like a marathon throughout the week, and then you get to the weekend, and you get to throw up all of your wares on a table, and you get to have a big display for people to come and ooh and ah at, and it does feel a little bit like a party because Everyone's excited to see what you have to offer. Maine farmers markets are very special because of the diversity that we're able to offer to our customers. I do think that customers kind of thirst for that extra connection other than just picking up their groceries at the farmers market each week. They are looking to dive a little bit deeper and see where those items are coming from and what does happen on that farm day to day. Farming is happiness. For Somali Bantu, farming is community. Farming in Maine is our legacy, and we hope that it always will be. This whole thing is based on family. It really is. For us, farming in Maine is a celebration.